you guys remember Adam Snyder? I do. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. Oregon, well, offensive was a lineman. Of mine for, yeah. yeah, he was a teammate of mine for, for eight years. And he lives now down in Chandler, Arizona. And he actually was a high school football coach when Brock Purdy was down there in high school. And so he knows him and he knows his family really well. And when they drafted, when the Niners drafted Brock um, as Mr. Irrelevant, he he texted me and then he called me and he was so fired up that a guy that he knows is with the Niners, but he was like, this kid is a winner. You guys, you know, the Niners got a steal with this kid. He's like, he might not have the arm strength. He might not have the measurables. He might not have all this stuff that people get drafted off now. now uh, nowadays, but what he does have is he has a mentality. He is a grinder, and he's a winner. And so I think for a guy to be a number three quarterback in this offense, and what this offense is asking of a quarterback to do, I think he's going to be a really good fit. So I don't think to answer your actual question, I don't think much is going to change offensively. It's still going to be driven through the run game. It's still going to be, you know, to win games. It's going to be driven through the defense. Um, and I think Kyle also has a quarterback that understands the offense, and that's a grinder. That's going to understand where to go with the ball and where to place it and just don't make mistakes. And I think this season, the way the team's still built, it's not going to be, oh, well, now the season's over. You know, I think still, even with Brock Purdy, we still have a chance. We still have the capabilities in the team to go deep in the playoffs and make a Super Bowl.